Hey guys, how's it going? Bearded here. I just thought I'd jump in real quick and show you my little idea I had for an infinity drill. I don't know if you caught the last episode of Quantum Threat, but we tried to do this in survival and I had a little difficulty getting it together because of, not because of my engineering, but because of these guys. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. So. I thought I'd jump into creative here and kind of show you my concept and uh, I guess proof of concept to see if it works. So let's get to it. So here we go. The basic setup is you got two pistons here, one of which uh, this one here I have set to a minimum distance of 2.4 and then this one's set to a maximum distance of 7.5. What that does is it aligns the drills and the extension so it fits just right and the merge blocks work and the connector works. The way this works is we'll make our first plunge cut with the drills. This first setup will be totally by hand and then after this first extension goes out it'll be automatic. So I think what I'll do before we leave today is I'll set up some event controllers and timers and see if we can't automate this. But for now we're going to do it manually. So what's going to happen is we have a connector that's locked here. Uh, we'll unlock that. These pistons will push forward. They'll stop here. I'll reconnect the connector on the new connector back here. And then as we pull back, these welders down here will weld up our next extension. And then we lock, extend, relock, and back up. And it just continues to go on and on. Hence the name Infinity Drill. So let's get this going. We'll turn our drills on. Uh, I have to unlock my connector. So you see it's unlocked there. And then what I'll do is I'll just extend my pistons. All right, you can see we're fully extended there and my connector is ready to be locked. So we'll go in there, we're gonna lock our connector and that locks that extension that we just pushed out in place. I'll power down my merge block. And then when I reverse my pistons, what will happen is the projection will project out the next section. Now what, one thing I do have to do is turn my merge block back on once we're clear. So I'll turn that back on and then as we go, they'll weld. Now when this gets close, you'll see that when that last merge block gets welded, it'll automatically lock to the merge block in front of it. Boom. Now we have our next extension. So we'll go ahead and we'll go forward again. Oh, first we have to unlock your connector and then we can extend. Next one's dead. Lock our connector. That'll pull all the resources in in the cargo bin and we'll start refining stuff, which will give us the components we need to build the next section. So once that's locked, we're gonna do it again. We will unlock our merge block and pull back on our uh, pistons. Turn our merge block back on right about there and we got our next extension now i suppose you could set up some grinders to grind off the merge blocks and maybe even the connectors if you wanted to do that um that would help save with resources but it's a pretty cheap way to do it all these resources get pumped back here and then i just have it ejecting uh gravel and stone after it gets refined in the refinery. So whatever the refinery doesn't get done in the first pass, it'll just throw the stone out and we just left with uh, all the components we need to weld the other stuff. So it's a pretty simple design, but I think it's effective. You know, you could do all kinds of cool stuff. We'll do one more extension and then we'll see if we can't set things up to do it automatically. Let's do that. I have not tested this as far as how many extensions I can go out before it gets too wobbly. I set my pistons up 
to be as rigid as possible. Both have share inertia tensor on them and both axes are maxed out as far as uh, impulse. So I go in here, my share inertia tensor's on and both impulse axes, axes, both in, they're both all the way up. I don't know how to say that right. I think that's right. Yeah, it's right. So they're both all the way up. So I would assume that that's pretty stable. I think what I'll do is I'll work on setting up some timer blocks and event controllers and we see if we can automate this. So yeah, I'll be right back and I'll show you that. All right, guys, I think I got it. I haven't tested it yet, but we'll see if my logic is, is sound. Um, let's just walk through this together. So our first event controller, I've got it down to two event controllers and three timer blocks. Event controller number one, is just set for our piston position. So piston position percentage is equal or greater to 100%. We set up these two pistons, which is our drill rig pistons. And when they're a 100%, it will trigger timer block one. Timer block one, set to one second. And those actions lock the connector unlock the merge block at the end of our piston and then retract these pistons which will start the projector because the projector is always on and then it will trigger our second timer block our second timer block is set for five seconds that gives the rig enough time or the pistons enough time to retract and then what this will do is it will turn the merge block back on so the welders can see it and weld it and then it'll also trigger our third timer block. Our third timer block is set for two minutes and 10 seconds. That's how long it takes for the pistons to retract all the way back to their zero position, which isn't zero. It's 2.4 on one and zero on the second one. But what that'll do is once the pistons are fully retracted, it will unlock our connector, which frees up the drill to go forward and then extend our two pistons. And then it'll loop back around to our first event controller here, which looks for the pistons to be fully extended. So it will just continuously loop until you shut off our first event controller and then it'll stop at the end of one. So we'll see if it works. It should be ready to go. So all I need to do is begin the cycle by unlocking and extending the drill rig. So we're going to do that. All right. Are we ready? Unlock our connector. Drills are already on and we're going to extend. Go. And there we're in range. Pistons are hundred percent. There's my lock. There's my projector. Uh, merge block should turn back on. It turned back on. And we should weld. I think what I'm going to do, because I noticed that the drills are struggling, like I'm going a little too fast. So if I go in here and get my two pistons, we're going to slow these down. We're at negative 0 0.1. So I'll go negative 0.2. Seven, five. Oh, no. Off. Oh, shoot. That was too much. Uh, negative 0 0.075. Holy cow. Uh, I guess we try that again. Oh, man. Uh, that was, uh, scary. Actually, we'll just wait. Because the timer block should be going. Timer block three. Are we counting down? We are counting down. 43 seconds. <gasps> and then we'll let it do another cycle. Oh, there it goes. Unlocked. We are moving forward. And now my event controller will take over and wait for the pistons to be at 100%. Let's go take a look and see how far we're going since we got a little bit of time here. I 
That seems pretty stable. Yeah, I think the slower speed will help. I'm not gonna mess with it. We're gonna wait and see if this next cycle goes through without me doing anything. All right, extended, locked. Uh, merge block should turn on. Merge block's on and we're gonna weld. Welded, locked. Waiting for the timer to run out. Might be some fine tuning with that last timer block. I might take 10 seconds off. Three, two, one. And it goes. Cool. And it seems real stable too. Like it's still not getting crazy on me and we are quite a ways into this mountain. Let's do a couple more extensions just to make sure it's nice and stable. Well, there you go. That's quite a few extensions we just added on and it's still just as stable as when we started. I'm liking it. So you can make this as elaborate as you want it to. You know, like I said, you could do some grinders to grind off the extra blocks that you don't need once it gets out there. You could try your hand at making it longer, but I was going for something pretty basic, something you could set up early just to bore into the side of a mountain or what have you so you could get some cover. Yeah. Two event controllers, three timer blocks, and some uh, setup, and you got that going. Well, there you go, guys. That's the infinity drill. Hopefully it was helpful. You know, this is kind of what I thought of, and it seemed to work out pretty well. I'll try and uh, put this up on the workshop if you want to take a look at it yourself. Maybe modify it, put grinders, and light it up, and do all the cool stuff. But, uh, yeah, I kind of like it. it. It works. I'm proud of that. So I guess uh, that'll be it. Hopefully you found this uh, educational, entertaining, all that fun stuff. And uh, until next time, take it easy, everybody. Have a good one.